Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 100 videos, 150 now videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And some people not even subscribers but I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, no courses to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case with most of the videos on YouTube, right? So it's a win-win situation, but I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to adjust the spacing for the header menu items on your Shopify store. And I mean the spacing between each menu on the header, how to resize or adjust that however you want. In this video, I will show you how to do that by using our own custom code. And you can actually adjust and customize the spacing between the items in the header menu easily by using this code. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every call I do share, I do demonstration in the video on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, the Shopify, the most used free Shopify teams, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do try each of my codes on all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out or do an update for you, just like in this one, this video you're watching right now. And I do demonstrations on down team because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one. And I do the, this behind, the, I do try to call behind the scenes so I don't bore people. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you that peace of mind. Because you're gonna see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking, ah, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. So here is your peace of mind without anyone talking to the second time. Let's just get to it and show you how to adjust the spacing between these guys right here. So we will adjust the spacing between these menu right here on the header. And we will do that by using our own custom code and you can actually adjust the spacings and make it like a meter between each one of them or just like a couple of centimeters or millimeters, however you want, no worries. So we will keep this page open, do the trick and come back and see it in action. And by the way, this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, literally everything, every little thing is, is difficult to mention them all, but you can see them right now. So if you saw anything you liked and you think you wanna implement it in your Shopify store, just check out the channel because that video will be already made and posted. Once it's here, that means it's already made because I don't remove the changes from the Shopify store. As I said, we will keep this page open, do the trick and come back for it. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file and instead of looking at the folders like this, you might get dizzy. <laughs> Just joking, use the search bar at the top left corner. Then again, I have to mention this in each of the time. So it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. Most of the teams now do use base, but other teams, custom made one, they can use either base.css or team.css or style.css and rarely, rarely custom.css. But I know in my case on most of the teams now, as I said, use base.css. I'm gonna type in base and here is base.css. After that, a bunch of CSF code will, will, will show up. And every time I said CSS, just $1, I'd be rich. It's just, so let's just scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's huge file. Here we go. And in here, we need to create some space because we're gonna pass in some code, but there is no space. To create that space, click front of the last thing, the last line. Then hit enter on your keyboard and here we go. We have a completely new line, nothing on it because we need to pass in some code. And in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then he get back to you the code 
I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box. You know, we'll see link name it as code again. And it will take you, click on it, it will take you to this beautiful code right here. Three lines if you want to count this as a line. So this one will do the trick for us. And the padding, you already know what padding is. So play around with the numbers until you get the spacing that you want on the header. In my case, I'm going to keep it as this, 2434. So select the whole code, including the closing bracket, right click, copy. Then get back to the code editor and paste it at the bottom of the file, as I said. So let's just paste it in here. And after that, click on the save button. We will wait for a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's save it. We will get back in here, reload the page, and see the changes. Whoa, check it out now. As you can see, it's much, much more space between each of one of these menus. You can, as I said, play around with the numbers like this. I'm going to do here like three. And for the other one, like two here. And this one, three as well. So just click on save. We get back in here, reload the page. Ah, much better, I guess. As you can see, that's how you adjust the spacing on the header menu items, however you want, by using our own custom code. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.